This video will demonstrate using the reflections in intersecting lines theorem. Let's talk about what that theorem means. Here, we're saying that we have lines K and M, and that those lines intersect, which we can see here. Here's line K, here's line M, and they're intersecting. K okay, at point P. Point P. So if you take segment AB and we reflect that over line K or in line K, that becomes A prime B prime, which we are using here in red. So A prime B prime. And then if I take A prime B prime and I reflect it across line M or in line M, then I'm going to get A double prime and B double prime. Okay, well, basically, I could have taken segment AB, and I could have just rotated it. So I could have just rotated it from here to here, and I could have then created A double prime, B double prime, that way. So what does that mean for angles and angles of rotation? Well, let's look at that. For talking about that, then it says the angle of rotation, so from moving AB all the way to A double prime, B double prime, that is what's 2x, okay? Where x is the measure of the acute or right angle that is formed by lines K and M or their intersection. So let's look at that again. All right, so that means that where they intersect, this little piece right here, that is what x is. That's x degrees, okay? And then the angle of rotation from AB to A double prime, B double prime, that is what is 2x. So let's apply this. So if we apply this in an example, here we're going to use fish, okay? In the diagram, uh, the figure is going to be reflected in line K. And that's what makes it go from the blue fish to the red fish. So from F to F prime. Then the image is going to be reflected in line M. So that's what takes it from the red fish to the green fish. Or in other words, from F prime to F double prime. Now the two lines intersect and they form this 70 degree angle. Okay. And we know that we can take from F all the way to F prime. And that's going to be... 2x, okay? So we know that x is 70 degrees. That's that angle. And we know that our angle of reflection, that angle of rotation, rather, is going to be 2 times that. So we want to take 2 times the 70 to get our angle. Let's plug in that 70. So what is 2 times 70? Well, 2 times 70 is 140 degrees. So the single transformation that would map F onto F double prime is going to be a rotation about point P, which is that intersection point, of 140 degrees. And so that's our answer.